class is in session. The professor is in. We have Maxine Dupree, and we are going to test her out on the Candy Store account. Six star silver, completely maxed, uh, and see what we think. Maxine has a very ooh, interesting training ability itself, which is uh, Pyro Gems do 18,000 more damage. Moves that generate Pyros are going to create four more, and Blue Moves do two more move points. Rieger is going to love that training ability. She does have gear. She has an Alpha Academy link, but doesn't do anything for her because she does not have any purple moves. She will have a gear. I don't have it yet. So Protect Gems do 150% more damage, but that'll be for another day. So let's go check out some movesets for Maxine Dupree. So before we get started, I just wanted to go over a couple of moves that I'm not going to show in this preview because I don't think they're moves that anyone would actually use outside of specific situations. And so I'd rather just show sort of feud builds, showdown builds, and so forth. That's how the bro works. Uh, so the one that we're not going to show is the flowing DDT. So this one here gives you bonus damage for every reinforced gem. Uh, this is a move that I don't think you would use unless you were sitting in a boss battle with reinforced gems. So it's not one that I think you would absolutely use, although it can be powerful with the queen suplex. But as you're going to see, this is actually a better, there's actually a better move set that will do more damage uh, than if you had the flowing DDT. So I'm not going to show that one. Uh, and the second one is a defensive one. It is a kick out move. It's going to deal uh, just about a million damage. You can buff that pretty well. You're going to heal yourself for 18 million health, but that's a, a move set that requires you to get pinned and that's a defensive move set that I'm not usually down for. Uh, it can't actually increase the health that you're going to receive. So that 19 million, 18.9 million uh, will stay the same. You're not really going to lose the match, but you're you're having to find a way to continually getting pinned. And it's a slow burn. And she actually doesn't need it. She just has better move sets. So those are the two that I'm not going to show. But I'll show you what I did find with Maxine Dupree. All right, so for this moveset, we're going to do the triple yellow. And do keep in mind that if you do get her gear, it's going to do 150% more damage per protect gem. So another 150% uh, here uh, is going to be uh, about 300k more damage off the there. So it's going to do 500k instead of 200k. And we're going to buff that up as well. So this is 99 MP. All yellow moves are starting uh, turn one. And you're just going to throw in all the protect gem damage that you can. And we're going to add the minus yellow submission move so we can keep as many protect gems on the board as possible. So you can even make this a super sub if you wanted to. But again, I don't like super sub uh, move sets. I feel like they take too long in this new meta. But you could buff it at 400k. That's a good starting base for a sub. And you can recycle it really easily. Um, and you have the... I didn't tell you what the moves did. So we're going to do the Caterpillar Finisher. It's going to do 1.2 million damage. We're going to get um, another 200k plus all the extra bonuses for the Protect Gem damage right there. The Electric Chair Drop, we're going to make 24 into one turn countdown gems that are going to make two random gems into Protect Gems of strength 260k. And last but not least, we're going to do the color submission gems. We're going to choose seven to make into more yellows. And the remaining are also going to turn into protect gems of 260K. So let's try it first with the damage per. And then we can always try it with keeping the protect gems um, and increasing their strengths. So they have a difficulty for our opponent to kick out. So as I said, we're just going to put this more damage per, 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 per protect gem. Good gosh, that was hard to say. Uh, and we'll see what can be done that way. In terms of the titles that we're going to throw on here, we are actually going to take this out of here and we're going to move this to a yellow, uh, yellow Fury 2. This might actually be a moveset where it would be better to do takedowns if this is the moveset that you're going to run with since we're trying to do as much move damage as possible. Uh, so we could get another 180% uh, move damage on this. We'll keep that in mind if we come back to try it again. Uh, in terms of the plates, which I didn't say, we are going to, in terms of recycling, if we need that help, whenever we break three or more green gems, this is the vintage glamour plate. We're going to get three more yellow move points. There's really no basic plate that helps so much. And then we're going to put on the JD plate, so that way we can keep our opponent away from getting their moves off against us. So we can actually go up against a bigger 
opponent. These are the things that you come and see the bro for, <clears throat> is not having things set up the way that you want it. Let's try this again. I did not want Survivor Series. It's going to take me back to the beginning again. No, it did not. Good. We're actually going to go up against Jade Cargill and see what we think. Since we have the JD plate, we don't have to worry about getting subbed by her. So let's see how much damage we can truly do with Maxine Dupree. So, again, not a big fan of sub movesets, especially of damage per gem movesets. Those are also not my favorite. So the first thing we do is the electric chair drop. We are going to put down all these countdown gems. The JD plate goes off. It takes away all of hers. We only need the one turn here. We're going to choose seven into yellow. Our goal is to reload our yellow. <clears throat> so we want to make sure that we can make a couple of matches. And then we're going to leave a few on the board. So try to make six total of your matches there. So that way it reloads your two yellow moves. All right. Each of these goes off, puts protect gems all over the board. And now we are going to be doing 700k. We have the majority of, bo of the board uh, with protect gems. So that's going to do three and a half million finisher worm. Awesome. Love the worm. And that did 30 million. And now we have all these protect gems on the board. And she's not going to be able to kick out. So that was a 30 plus million. It's not going to go up too much more uh, at gold, but you get the idea. You can fill the board with protect gems and make it really hard for your opponent to kick out. We can also put on armor two medals and an armor strap and just completely uh, try to get some defensive wins with our uh, Maxine Dupree. We can actually try that right now and see what we think. Make it even harder for our opponents to kick out. So two, two different ways that we can go about that. We can switch out our, our plates and other things. So we are going to change our strap. So we can go, what are you? You are a 50% gem damage. Cool, we will do that. We will put you on here. So now we're gonna get uh, let's edit this plate. So we are going to be getting 90% more gem defense. If you have a gem defense strap that you can use for her and we shall move over the JD plate over here. So this, this could be quite effective considering how many of these gems we're going to leave on the board, each of them doing 300 K. It's going to be hard for people to kick out. Now, again, if you go into a feud and someone's bought all the steps and they have 100% gem damage uh, kick out, it's going to be difficult, but you're going to be reloaded and you can do this turn after turn and probably get some easy wins on the defensive side of things. So same idea. We're going to put that down first. And then we will hit this move right here. All right, so we want to try not to break our own as best we can. There's one, there's two. So try to get yourself two, three matches to reload your moves. She can't do anything there. She takes one move. Again, we fill almost the entire board. We are doing, how many are we missing? We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six. We're only missing six, wow. Uh, so that is gonna be 43 times 750K. <laughs> So you can see that the damage per protect gem is going to be pretty massive right there. So another, that's 32 million for that finisher. And then she's got to try to kick out with all of these protect gems on the board. And it's just not going to be possible. So again, there's a defensive setup that you can, that you can use. Again, I'm, I'm not big on using uh, subs. I do like using defensive setup. So that's actually a pretty powerful one that uh, you can use. So Big finisher, which is also the, the other thing. So with 99 MP, that's going to look pretty good. Let's try it without 99 MP and see what we think. So we're going to do this again this time without the 99 MP. So we're going to hit the Caterpillar, the electric chair drop, the arm bar. We're going to put in Tatanka. Shout out T-Unit. Um, Yellow's going to start with two more MP. And then if you put in 
uh, Kofi for the other four, then you will start ready to go uh, turn one. We're going to keep these on here. To keep the Judgment Day plate on as well. Um, the other option is if you have a Ghost Whooper plate, then you can put that for extra gem, uh, extra, extra yellow move damage, but I'm not sure that's sort of what you would want to get. We'll try this again as well without the minus, um, minus sub as well too, because if you don't have the sub down, uh, then it's not. It's obviously going to be less effective. You're going to have less countdown gems. You're going to have less of everything, right? So we'll try it once just to see what the damage difference is going to be when we no longer have all that extra gem damage. It's probably going to get a hit for 20-something million instead of 30-something million. Convert into sub-gems. So one, two, three. Let's do it a different way, right? That's one, two, three. There's our two matches. Uh, I don't want to give them a match. That's probably all I'll put down. One turn. And give ourselves a chance to put as many protects on the board as possible. And then we're going to just hit the finisher. So hit that worm. Love the worm. And so that hit just about 20 million. Again, we got all the protect gems, we got the armor medals and so forth, but come feud time, when everybody's got an extra 40%, that's likely to be kicked out of, um, but worth a shot. So that's what it's going to look like after 99 uh, MP. So let's go see if we can find something else to work with. So this moveset we're going to do right here is the 99 MP version, the double blue with the green. So we're going to do the Fisherman Suplex, and that's going to deal just under a million damage. We're going to increase our green gem damage by 172%. We're then going to do the Queen Suplex, where we're going to choose one row to make into pyro gems. And then we're going to deal another 600k and choose a 7x5 area to make into reinforced gems. And then we're going to make those pyro gems into blue gems. Now, the pyro gems here, it doesn't say it, but they're going to turn everything green. That's how this is all going to recycle. So we just want as much green gem damage as possible. So <clears throat> putting in Big Papa Pump will get us 50% more damage. Ghostbuster Cena's 50% more green gem damage. The new Ilya Dragunov is 30%, but if you don't have him, um, then you just put whatever green gem damage you can muster. We're just going to buff that green Till we can't buff no more. Uh, in terms of metals, we're going to have a 100% gem damage strap, which is what we usually have on the candy store, Fury 2 metals. And as all my previews will be this, this month, it's going to have the Piper's Plate. So at any time we make our Pyro Gems, we're going to get 100% damage for all of our gems for one turn. And in order to get more green gems, and we are going to be breaking blue gems, so it makes sense to put the Sean Showstopper, whenever we break three or more blue gems, we're going to turn those reds into greens and try to take advantage of that buff itself. So we're going to go up against Nikki Cross. Let's bro. If it decides to load, and it does. So the first thing we're going to do with Maxine Dupree is we are going to hit that Fisherman's Suplex, like so. Boost our green gems. We are going to hit the combo move. And so the combo move is going to put one row of pyros on the bottom, a seven by five into reinforced gems. And last but not least, we will hit the arm drag. That's going to turn all of these into blue gems, setting off our showstopper plate. There's turn all into green. That's one heck of a good cascade to start with. All those reds turn into green. A little more of a cascade. We did just under 40 million at six star silver. So that's going to be somewhere in the 70, depending on your cascade, of course, 70 to 80 million at six star gold. 99 MP build. All right, let's try this again without and with uh, regular trainers as such. All right, let's bro. So we're going to do this again. And as you can see, if you do not have 99 MP, you would still keep um, Big Papa Pump in here. We are going to need that 2 MP that he provides in order to get the arm drag, which is 3 MP going. A Lawler, someone with blue MP is then going to get our blue moves going. 
They are six charges, I believe, and I am correct. So you will need a line bonus. If you don't have a line bonus, then you can put in Santa Hogan somewhere over here. And all moves are ready to bro. So without 99 MP, let's go take a look at what Maxine Dupree is going to hit for. And yes, I will keep making that sound. And you will deal with it. So same same idea as before. So we're going to hit the Fisherman Suplex. Then we're going to hit our combo move. Down there. Down here. And then we're going to hit our seven Pyros into blue. And we'll see what kind of Cascade we get when all is said and done. Pretty decent cascade that's going to turn into greens. And that did 35. So you're still in that range of, it's probably going to do more in the 65 to 75 million uh, at six star gold, which is still really good when the 99 MP goes away. That will take out a lot of your competition. And if it doesn't, you are completely loaded. It completely recycles itself. All right, let's keep on broing. All right, y'all, that's Maxine Dupree at Six Star Silver Max. Let me know what you think in the comments, and hopefully you will have a chance to get her this month. Good luck out there, y'all. Thanks for coming to class. Give it the old like, share, and subscribe. Bro-fessor out.